We're always thinking about doing shit half-assed. That doesn't come into my vocabulary. It shouldn't come into anybody's vocabulary. That should be blasphemous. Why would you want to just show up? It ain't about the time that you're putting into it. It's the effort. Like I always say, I don't count the reps, I make the reps count. Because there's days that you wake up, and you feel tired, you feel sore, you feel sorry for yourself, you want nurturing. So motivation, that's out the window. I don't even care about motivation. It's discipline. That's what you rely on. You know, whenever you want a warm shower, you have a cold shower. When you want to hit the snooze button, you don't, you get up. When you don't want to work out, you get to the gym. Hi right, guys, Chris Gathin here. We are in Columbus, Ohio for the Arnold Classic, but it seems to be the Corona Classic this year. But coronavirus or not, we're still doing what we're doing. We're gonna work out, man. It doesn't change my ability to come here and get it done either way. So I'm gonna be smashing biceps and triceps today. I hit back yesterday, so biceps and triceps feeling good. Gonna smash it. So we're training at Beyond Limits today. It's a phenomenal joint. I actually stumbled across this place a couple of years ago, and uh, I like it because it's quiet, you know? Everybody's at Powerhouse and some of the other gyms, and it's just too busy. I'm not a crowd person. I try to stay away from the expo, like the coronavirus. So I try to stay away from the crowds. I've got, I can get into the equipment here, select what I want. It's pretty quiet in the morning, and uh, it's got some pretty good tunes playing. <laughs> Start off with the extension, straight onto the preacher for supersets. I like to do supersets because hit, hitting antagonistic muscle groups like biceps and triceps, I just find that I don't have to double up in warming up my bicep tendons and my elbow joints. And it's just that much more efficient because while my biceps are getting annihilated, my triceps are recovering. Whilst I'm contracting one, I mean elongating the other. So I like to get that big pump. Three or four sets usually for each exercise. I like to go to absolute failure with everything. You know, obviously my warm-up sets all dependent on if I train in the morning. Sometimes I feel a bit dry, feel a little bit old, so I'll do more warm-up sets, but usually in the afternoon it's less. But every working set is to absolute failure. It makes me chuckle that some people train at about 70, 80, 90 percent. Man, you can either tap that nail or you can smash the fucker down. I like to smash that nail down and just get the set done. So with the first exercise, I started off with triceps. I like to alternate. So the superset was tricep extension straight onto the preacher curls. And now I like to alternate it to give priority to the biceps. And I start off with uh, barbell curls to smash the biceps first before heading over to the tricep dips to smash the triceps. So I like to do that every now and again, just to even out the score between the bys and tries because they're always battling with each other. See. I think it's a very 
very important that you level up every time that you come to the gym or anything that you do, anything that you put your effort into because if you think about it, if you come onto this earth, you, uh, re you, know, you recreate, you have children, your testosterone levels start to drop, then the universe has nothing for you. It has no use for you. So then you just wither away, become fragile and die. So we have to do everything within our power on this earth to ensure that doesn't happen. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna create purpose. How are you gonna create purpose? By leveling up, by evolving, seeing what you're made of. You know, you can either come in here, come up with excuse, train like a boy, or you can level up, man up, and train like a fucking man. By doing so, that has a transcendence effect on everything that you do in life. You know, I don't come in here just to work my pecs and my biceps. I come in here to work my discipline, my mental agility, and evolve so that has a transcendence effect on anything that I do in life, whether it be with my business, whether it be with my mental application to work, adventure, relationships, anything, because life can beat you down, man. And you can be one of those people that just gets sucked into politics, the news, scaremongering, like the coronavirus, and then all of a sudden, you get controlled by your environment. The only thing that you can do in life is control your environment. And that starts from the neck up. It isn't just from the neck down. People use their genetics, their potential as their justification for procrastination and excuse. And you can't, you can't. It starts from the neck up. As uh, Kai Green says, whatever you believe you achieve. And I truly believe that I can level up. I can defy excuse. I can defy the aging process. And I'm not gonna become fragile. There will be a, a day in my life that that will happen. While my brain is in control, it's not gonna happen. All right, so I did a couple of different advanced principles uh, when I went on to biceps and triceps, and it was instinctive. Do you know what? I didn't even know what I was gonna do until I picked up the weight. When I picked up the barbell, I decided to begin with, what I'll do is one and a half reps, because I picked up the weight, so I thought, you know what? It's probably a bit light, so I'm gonna make it harder without running back over to the other side of the gym and grabbing a heavier barbell. I just made sure that I came all the way up, came halfway down, and then back up, and I counted that as one rep. And I think I did like 10 to 12 something around there. Again, I don't count the reps, I make the reps count. And uh, by doing so, it just allows me to get past that sticking point and really work the contraction and the peak of the bicep. I don't have full biceps at all, so I do whatever I can with my genetics to ensure that they can get as full and peaked as I possibly can. So I did that for two sets, and then on the third set, I decided to do 21s. And the way that I do 21s is that I start off with a full rep, then I do the bottom half, and then I do the top half. So I like to make it harder on myself as I go along. Then when I superset it onto the triceps, I did drop sets. So I did, I added weights, put a couple of chains around my neck, tried to look hardcore like Branch Warren. And, uh, and then I went to absolute failure there. Once I couldn't do any more, I got rid of uh, the, uh, the chains and just might use my own uh, pec size as my weight, as my resistance to get out more reps. So uh, wherever you find failure, always think to yourself, where else can I find failure? Further from the traditional failure point, because if you want unnatural results outside of the gym, you're gonna have to do some fucking unnatural things inside of here. A Spider-Man push-up is like you usually do it flat on the floor, but I'm gonna make it harder by having an incline. So uh, what's the best way of doing it? Like this, I guess. So I'll be close like this, and I'll come like that. If I bring my leg up, Put more resistance onto my upper body as opposed to keeping my legs down. Like that. So I'll do that. And then I'll do some uh, hammer curls. <laughs>
yeah, my, my joints feel absolutely fine. Like I have cheated the system a little bit uh, because I do whatever I can to optimize recovery. So a lot of people try to optimize their workouts. I optimize my recovery because my recovery dictates my workouts. And when I say I've cheated the system a little bit, I've actually traveled overseas for stem cells. So about a year and a half ago, I'd had shoulder surgery and um, and I also had, I was, I was competing in my most, in the, my most recent Ironman. I had knee issues as I was training, getting ready for it. And then uh, during the race of the Ironman, I had to stop at every aid station on the run to keep icing my knee. And I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna slow down anytime soon. What can I do to optimize my recovery? And I researched stem cells for about eight months, like very intensely. And I decided to go to, uh, Columbia to go have those stem cells. I had like umbilical cord stem cells. And I tell you what, it was the best investment and best money I ever spent. And uh, because after about six months, the efficacy of those stem cells really kicked in. And uh, even though I do take it easy with my joints, you know, I don't train as ballistic and crazy and heavy as I used to, um, I've never felt better. Let's fucking have it. Oh. That is it, we are done in Beyond Limits for today in Columbus, Ohio. Biceps and triceps done. Didn't take long, like 40, 45 minutes. A lot of intensity, no fucking around. And uh, making sure that the effort that we put in here is undisturbed. You know, as I've mentioned before, you gotta keep it intense, you gotta level up, you gotta do things that you haven't done before in order to get results that you haven't gotten before. You know, you gotta keep pushing, pushing the extreme, you know? So, uh, you know, it's early in the morning, but these are my AA batteries. It's funny, a lot of people wake up and go, you know what, I'm too tired to go to the gym. Man, you're gonna be tired all day if you don't go to the gym. You have gotta go and move. It doesn't have to be inside these four walls. You can go to a park and work out, you know? You can go and stay in your hotel room and work out. You just gotta get your blood moving, get the oxygen pumped around your body, around your, bread, so, uh, uh, your body and your brain so you can focus, so you can have cognitive function throughout the day. So if in doubt, get up and move. If in doubt, go heavy.